Hello, good morning students. Today we will discuss about phylum Porifera. Term Porifera was coined by Robert Grant. Phylum Porifera, it consists of sponges. Porifera means pore bearing animals. Sponges, they are simple invertebrates which live in the aquatic environment. They are found in shallow oceans as well as in the depth as great as 5 kilometers. All the adult sponges, they are sessile. Sponges, they are diploblastic organism as their body wall divides into two layers. Outer layer is known as pinacoderm which is derived from the epithelial cell whereas the inner layer is known as coanoderm which is derived from endothelial cells. In between these two layers mesenchyme layer is present. Sponges they do not have any organs in their body. So they have cellular grade of organization. The body, it comprises of large number of pores called ostia for taking in water. And one single hole known as osculum for throwing out water. The central cavity is called spongocele or atrium which opens to outside by osculum. The nutrition in the case of sporiferans is holozoic that is whole food is taken by the organism then it is digested inside the cells and nutrition is there. They have a power of regeneration of their lost parts. The development is indirect and the cleavage is holoblastic. Indirect development means that there is a presence of larval stage. The exchange of respiratory gases and nitrogenous waste occur by the process of diffusion. They are filter feeder as they filter the tiny floating organic particles and planktons on which they feed upon. They collect the food in specialized cells called coanocytes which are transported throughout the body by specialized again cells known as the amoebocytes. The inner surface of sponge is lined with the help of the collar cells. They are also known as coanocytes. The collar is made up of fine tubes surrounding a long whip-like thread called the flagellum. As flagella in the collar cell move back and forth, they create a current of water that moves into the ostia and out the osculum. Several gallons of water can circulate through a fist sized sponge in a single day, bringing a tiny food particle such as suspended bacteria, bits of plants and animal matter and tiny drifting planktonic organism. So in this diagram you can see the structure of coanocytes with collar, with flagellum and a body and the movement of food. The food is collected by whiplash movement of the flagella. The food enters into the body. It is engulfed, holozoic nutrition and through phagocytosis the food is taken in. As the water circulates the fine tubes of the collar cell filter out the food particle and take them into the cell for the digestion. For this reason, the sponges, they are described as filter feeder. The amoeboid cells in the mesenchyme layer mediate the movement of planktonic food and water throughout the body. The mechanism of digestion is intracellular. 
occurring inside the food vacuole of the collar cells. The food is stored in specialized cells known as thesocytes. In phylum Porifera, large number of cells they are there. First type of cell is pinacocytes. Pinacocytes are the cells that made the outer layer of body wall, which is known as pinacoderm. They have a bulge and a tile-like appearance. Second is coanocytes. Coanocytes are the flagellated collar cells that made the inner body wall and it is known as coanoderm. Third type of cell is amoeboid cells. The gelatinous mesenchyme present between the pinacoderm and coanoderm contains amoeboid cells or spicules or sometimes called sponging fibers. Porocytes, they are unique elongated tubular cells. Each porocyte allows water to flow inside the spongocele from surrounding aquatic habitat. So, in this diagram, we can see the porocytes. Between the outer surface of epithelial cell and the inner surface of collar cell is a jelly like material. The jelly like material it supports the sponge. They are also free moving cells the amoebocyte which are present throughout the mesenchyme. During feeding, some of the particles taken in by the collar cells are passed to the amoebocytes which carry them to the other cells of the sponge. Several types of amoebocytes serve special functions like producing the sponge skeleton that is the spicules or the sponge in fiber, digesting, transferring nutrients and reproducing themselves. The spicules constitute major part of skeletal system which are secreted by special mesenchymal cells called secleroblast. Spongin is an organic horny elastic substance consisting of secleroprotein that is rich in sulfur and is chemically similar to collagen and sericin. Some sponges have both spicules and spongin and feel both prickly and flexible. So in this diagram we can see the structure of spicules, monoaxon, triaxon, tetraaxon, then hexaxon and the spongin fiber. And in the last figure we can see how the spicules they are formed from the seclero blast. Many species of sponges can be identified by the shape and composition of their spicules. Siliceous sponges have spicules made from silicon whereas the calcareous sponges have spicules made from the calcium. Spicules also have many shapes and sizes. So this is regarding the porifera the aquatic pore bearing organism which is diploblastic and cellular grade of organization. It is holozoic in nutrition and have canal system through which the water it circulates continuously bringing food, oxygen, taking away the waste material in the case of the porifer. I hope the concept is clear. Thank you.